Hello and welcome back to Maths Plus. Today we have a complex number problem. We have ln of e squared over e to the power of pi all to the power of i. So maybe give it a try and let me know how you get on. But if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Thank you. So let's get started. ln e all to the power of 2. And this is also in this regular form where we have an x. If we write ln as log to the base e, you know it's the inverse function, and we will get the exponent. So the first step is just writing in 2 is going to be the result of ln e squared. And we have e to the power of pi all to the power of i. Now we're going to distribute that power through the numerator and the denominator. So let's get started on that. So this i will distribute in here and in down here evenly. So now we have 2 to the power of i as numerator and e to the power of i by pi as the denominator. Now let's focus on 2 to the power of i which is the denominator and the 2 is a base so we're going to look at how we're going to rearrange this format so that we can bring in the complex number. So first of all, we could write a to the power of x as L, e to the l and a as they are opposites all to the power of x. And multiplying in here by the power rule will give us e to the x l and a. So the base is going to be 2 and the exponent is going to be i. Okay, so now we have e to the power of i ln 2 as a numerator. We can also go further and apply Euler's for format here, and we can bring in our actual values later on. So we're going to write this as a numerator now, and we have e to the i pi. And remember the Euler formula, e to the i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sine theta. So in this case, we're going to replace theta with pi and then evaluate the polar form. Okay, so you can see here now we have inputted pi in here and in here. And we've got cos of pi is negative 1 and sine of pi is 0 i and use radians with your calculator with this step so therefore we have 2 to the power of i over e to the power of i pi is equal to cos of ln 2 plus i sine ln 2 over cos of pi plus i sine of pi all right so at this stage now we're going to try to evaluate or maybe simplify. Taking cos of theta 1 plus i theta 1 and placing it over cos of theta 2 plus i sine theta 2 will give us the difference of the angle. So cos of theta 1 minus the lower angle plus i sine of theta 1 minus theta 2. So we're going to apply this up here with this formula. Okay, so there's our, our final solution format and we can now get our calculator and establish an approximate value. You can set your calculator to radians and type in cos of ln 2 minus pi. And we will get this rounded to five decimal places minus 0.76924 and for the i value minus 
63896i. And thus our solution is minus 0.76924 minus 0.63896i. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching and see you again soon.